Araucaria Araucana Araucania Araucana Monkey Puzzle. Today I have Monkey Puzzle and that is uh, really exciting because this thing looks really cool and it has a lot of history to it. There's a lot to say. Let's get into it. So this was sent to me by Raymond. So first of all, thank you so much Raymond for sending this to me. Today I am not talking about a fruit. I am talking about a seed. And usually I allow seeds to be part of my reviews, but this seed is not really part of a fruit. Nope, it is part of a gymnosperm. Gymnosperm, that word, if you translate it, means naked seed, gymnosperm. And that is because these seeds are not surrounded by a fruit, they are contained within a cone. So like pine cones, those are gymnosperms. The trees that produce this are insane. They are gorgeous looking. And they're also very, very old. They are considered to be like a living fossil, and they are a connection to what uh, conifer trees would have looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. They have a closer relationship to those trees of ancient, ancient times than uh, your typical like pine trees that you would see. So when you look at these trees, you see something that is a closer look to what trees would have been like such a long time ago. The evolution of these trees is also very interesting. They, for one, have a very thick bark on it, and it's believed that that thick bark developed as a way to resist forest fires. They also have very, very sharp, uh, spiky leaves going all over it. They're like little green razor blades. And it's believed that that had evolved in order to deter dinosaurs. Yeah, it looks a lot like a pine nut, especially once you peel this thing, it looks even more like a pine nut. And in fact, let me, I actually have a little packet of pine nuts that I picked up that are still in their shell. And when you look at them side by side, you can see how uh, similar they are. And when you peel them, they are even more similar to each other. These are related to pine nuts, but only distantly. They're in the same order. Okay, so they're not in the same species, they're not in the same genus, they're not in the same family. One more up the chain. Uh, they're pretty distantly related, but there is definitely a similarity between the two. I'm not sure if they taste similar, but um, could be. So let's see. Pine nuts. You can open one of these up, like, super easily. The, the skin on the outside just flakes off. So, yeah, there you go. Pine nut opens up in like five seconds. This is gonna be more like five minutes and you need uh, a tool of some kind to do so. People do eat these, but usually they eat them cooked. You can either roast them or boil them. And uh, yeah, and it makes sense because that's supposed to make it easier to peel. And right now I am uh, doing my darndest not to cut off my thumb. So there's like a thick skin around it and Underneath that skin is yet another skin, but that skin is very thin. It's kind of like uh, the skin on like an almond. Uh, oh, there we go. Managed to pull off the bottom and here, it is free. So yeah, it looks very similar to the regular pine nut, but obviously it's like 10 times bigger. First, I'm gonna try a raw pine nut just on its own. It's not exactly like uh, like an almond. It's nuttier, maybe more like uh, like a hazelnut, but more buttery. It reminds me a little bit of like a sunflower seed as well. It has like the like if you take a sunflower seed and like eat the the hull on it, it's got a little bit of like a hull type flavor, like that kind of nuttiness, but also very fatty tasting. So let's try the monkey puzzle on its own. Hmm. You probably hear that. Crunchy. It's not bad, but <laughs> it's starchy. It tastes a little bit like the pine nut in that it tastes fatty, but it's not as fatty tasting. 
It tastes nutty, but not as nutty tasting. Maybe a little bit more like a almond. Does still have a hull kind of flavor, like a sunflower seed would. But it also has the starchiness of biting into a raw potato. Not as bad, but kind of. Um, you know, if we were to have, I don't have a potato scale, okay? But if 10 were taking a bite out of a raw potato on starchiness, this is like a six, okay? That's pretty starchy. Uh, definitely would be something you'd want to cook. They're a little bit sweet. The sweetness of like a hazelnut, I guess. Maybe like a one out of 10. It's no tartness to it, no bitterness to it. Just nutty, seedy, potatoey, chestnutty. It is pretty good though. I, I can see this being very tasty, but I, it's going to need a little bit of work. Here's a pot of boiling water. Here are the monkey puzzle seeds. These are going to go inside. I'm going to take this lid, put it on top, and lower this to a simmer, and, this, and let this simmer for 10 minutes. Hello, peanut. Everybody asks about my cat. There she is. She's being cute. Not much else is going Oh, look at you. They're cooked, and uh, as you can see, they have gotten a bit darker. That's kind of cool. Nice uh, red color to them. They, uh, they look really nifty. And let's see how much easier it is to peel them now. Can I do it with my fingers? That is the, uh, the true test. It's not easy. <laughs> Still probably a good idea to use, like, a knife. Maybe, like, even, like, a pair of scissors to cut off the end or something. Because, uh, still pretty tough. But, uh, yeah, can be done. You can see the coloring of the nut itself has changed. Now it's, like, a little bit of a yellow color after being cooked. Hmm. Mm hmm It's good. Tastes like a chestnut. Starchiness is gone. Doesn't exactly taste like a potato. A little bit, but more than anything it tastes like a chestnut. Like a, like a boiled chestnut, or I guess like a roasted chestnut. This isn't like the most exciting flavor of all time or anything. It's something that I've detected a lot of times in different uh, seeds where they taste like chestnut. It's a pretty relatable taste, but you can't get around just like how cool this thing is. I mean, the seed itself looks amazing. The cone it comes in looks cool. The tree looks amazing. And it has this incredible link to very, 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 very old plant life from millions of years ago. So very interesting to get a chance to try this thing and get to see what plants from such a long time ago may have tasted like. So what do you do when you have a whole bunch of monkey puzzle pine nuts? You make monkey puzzle pesto. A lot of things have been sent to me in the past month, so I'm gonna put some of the more interesting things I've been uh, getting in this pesto as well. We've got two very large cloves of garlic, one pepper that was sent to me by Matt from my chili review episodes. This is a uh, BB7 crossed with Tabasco pepper. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there. Don't think it's gonna be too, too spicy. Here's my monkey puzzle nuts. I've got just over one fourth of a cup. I'm gonna give this uh, a little pulse. Oh yeah, that uh, pepper might be a little spicy. <coughs> I just gassed myself because I haven't learned my lesson. Here are mountain pepper berries. I'm gonna take three of these, grind them up, and throw them in there as well. Uh, these were, uh, oh, I bought these on Amazon, but originally the mountain pepper was sent to me by Matt and Megan in Seattle. Different Matt, also Megan in Seattle, so uh, that's gonna go in there too. And, Two big fistfuls of basil. This is uh, 
The recipe I was looking at called for two cups of basil. I don't know what that's supposed to mean because, you know, basil does not really cup super evenly. This is just like one big bunch, so however much that is, is what I'm using. You may notice, no salt. I'm going to put a half cup of olive oil in here, which is a lot. But that's why pesto is so, so good. Now, if you wanted to keep things vegan, you could do it just like this, or you can add some nutritional yeast to it as well to make it a little bit uh, cheesy tasting. I'm not a vegan, so I'm going to put some uh, cheese in here. Uh, I didn't have Parmesan at the store, but they have Romano, which uh, is similar enough for me, so I'm going to take about half a cup of that. And there we go. Monkey Puzzle Pesto. I made some bow ties, and uh, this smells really, really good. Hmm, smells like pesto. Definitely has a kick from that pepper that I put in here. From both the uh, chili pepper and the mountain pepper. Ooh. And because of that mountain pepper, well, <laughs> probably more because of the Parmesan I put in here, or the Romano I put in here, um, has a nice saltiness to it. Doesn't need any extra salt. The uh, basil's good, but it is milder than just plain pine nuts. Pine nuts would give it probably a little bit more kick. Maybe like roasting these would be a better idea than you know boiling them than I did. If I um, would go through the trouble of roasting it, uh, it might add a little bit more of a nutty taste to it. This has a nutty taste, but it's it's fairly mild. But it's good. It's really, really good. This is tasty. I think this is the sort of thing that uh, it's not something to go out of your way to, to buy to make pesto out of or to use it for, but it's something that is really interesting. And it'd be a cool thing to grow. It'd be a cool thing to forage and to use it because of that history not so much because of the flavor. The flavor is very understandable, and for applications you would normally use pine nut for, probably not as suitable. It's, it would be better, I think, for something you'd use a chestnut for, <laughs> or maybe like a potato. I think the best way to use the monkey puzzle would be to collect them, uh, boil them, roast them, what have you, and just eat them eat them with a little bit of salt on it. I think that's probably the best way to go. Uh, to use it in lieu of a pine nut, I think you're gonna miss out on some of the extra flavors that a pine nut has. However, saying all that, I'm very happy with this. It's tasty. Uh, it is something that would be fine to use instead of pine nuts, but regular pine nuts would give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more to it. Thanks again to Ray for sending this to me, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, is how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.